Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy is mine. Joy today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Joy today is mine. Peace is mine. Peace is mine. Peace today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Peace today is mine. Victory is mine. Love is mine. Love is mine. Love today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Love today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory Liberty is mine, liberty is mine, liberty today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind, liberty today is mine. Praise God. Praise God. You have your seats. God is a good God. Can we have the offerings? A good time to give to the Lord. What type of soil are you? What type of soil are you? Good soil. Amen. Go over this week. As you go through this week, reflect on what type of soil are you. God is coming back for a prepared people. So make sure the soil that you are is what God is looking for. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for the word today. We just want to give to the Lord, and we want to give as he asks us to give. When we give, it will be good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Don't play tight with God now. Just give to him, okay? Amen. Ready, Brittany? Let's hold up. My sowing and giving are producing my financial future. I expect abundance because I saw how bountifully the truth, the truth concerning, concerning giving. giving has caused me to be a cheerful giver. My trust in God, not my circumstances, motivates me to give. God loves the way I give. Because I bring my whole time, my finances will be abundant, for God will guard them from the devour. God gives me his ability for financial success. I have abundance for every good work. I am a blessed giver. Praise God. So while the offering is being taken, I just want to give the announcement quickly so we'll be out of here in a short space of time. This week, Pastor's Pastor announced that we're going to be having, um, from tomorrow, for those of you who are, you're going to sing this now. You're going to sing this now. For those... Um, who couldn't come last week we were expecting you to come from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Friday to help us to get that room set up for the um, launch of the the health wellness outreach lighthouse um, we're looking forward for your help especially men try and see if you can give two hours, one hour whatever time you can give I see Miss Lorraine here. I want to ask you for your son. I thought about them last week, and I said I want to ask you if you could send them, you and your husband, to give me a hand. We really need to get that room going, but they need lifters. Thank you. We're going to rec recognize you in a moment. Um, homegoing service for Sister Marvis' dad. 100 years. We were there on February 4th when he celebrated 100 years. And, and, and Papa, as they call him, Papa said, you know, I want to eat nothing. He won't want, want do anything. He just want to go home. <laughs> so God granted his request. But he, he did well on that day. We thank God for him. And we'll celebrate his life. A hundred years. Oh my goodness. One hundred years. Praise God. We're going to celebrate a hundred years this gentleman live. And, and all I'm hearing from every one of the family members is how good he was to them 
that caused him to have extended life. He was sick. He was all kinds of things, but God allowed him to reach 100 years, and he was ready to go. He didn't want to stay any longer. And then we have the health fair coming up on Saturday from 1 o'clock, from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock, and at 1.15, we come right in here to, to launch the, the wellness outreach center. And um, I'll be cutting the ribbon. I come to see who I'm cutting the ribbon with. I'm not telling you that's, that'll be a surprise to you. And we want to thank God for all the, uh, the different organizations that would join with us in making this a reality, prevent cancer. One year ago, we signed that contract with them, and they were on our case that we should have this for our community. But uh, Alvarado, you know that you, where's Brother Alvarado? Don't see him. Is that the back? Okay, Brother Alvarado, you need to know that you're the one organizing for the tent and Brother Carl Phil Potts. Brother Carl? Good. Okay, so I just want to make sure. And we need men again from Friday morning right up to Friday um, afternoon because the folks are going to be here at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning to put their stuff in. I see the spark sons are here. If you're not working on during the week, we would like to see you all come and give us a hand. Who else we have? Michael, you're still here in, in Maryland? Good. So why are we not seeing you? Thank you, mommy. Good. So we're looking forward for all of um, all of the young men and men and women. Sister Norma, we will pick you up so you don't have to worry about transportation. So at this time, we want to recognize those who are here with, for, uh, with us for the first time, our gifts, our visitors. We want to recognize you. If you're here for the first time, could you stand and see we have visitors. I see Mr. Walker, brother, and his wife. I know those faces very well. When the folks went to Jamaica, this is the place that they stayed at. This was the family they stayed at when the young people went to Jamaica. Now we want to bless God for you. And then go ahead, give them a hand. We thank God. Keep standing. And then we have one. On my right, we have um, Taste of the Caribbean. For those of you who heard about Taste of the Caribbean, we have Junction, we have Caribbean Market, we have Taste of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. These are the proprietors right here. They're Guyanese. They'll be catering for the birthday, for my 60th birthday. Ooh, right. That's the Taste of the Caribbean. Whenever you hear that name and you go anywhere, stop in and buy some stuff. They, they cater for all the needs, all the Caribbean needs, all the American needs of food. Jamaica, don't think that y'all alone can cook. They can cook Jamaica food too. That's right. <laughs> so call it when you see them. Let's give them, come on, folks. Let's welcome them. Turn around welcome and shake hands. Life. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's a welcome here. There's a Christian welcome here. Greet somebody in Jesus' name. Tell them that you love them in Jesus' name. Tell them we can work together in Jesus' name. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. Everybody smile. Jesus loves you. And then we have on Father's Day after our celebration of the health fair. Father's Day is on Sunday. We're inviting you. Don't come alone. Bring the father, the mother, the child, everybody with you on Father's Day so that we could enjoy a moment and get instructions from the Lord as we go forward. So Father's Day is on Sunday and the ladies are the virtuous ladies of light. We're the ones hosting Father's Day. Our pastor will be speaking. For those who graduated from one class or one level to another level, June the 24th, registration is open on the church website under the events. It's closed now? It's still closed? Okay, Tuesday was the last. If you still have a graduation that you want to be registered, please go to WRC today. Go to WRC today so that they can have your information. So far, we have 30 participants. If you know that you want to be in this, please go to WRC. 
then coming up, um, the Barry Relief. We still have the Barry Relief program. We were on um, on Skype to Guyana last night, and in the board meeting, we had a board meeting with them, and we will be sending some stuff there for them to do. They have outreach that they will be doing. We sent to Jamaica last week, and now we'll be sending to Guyana. So we still need your, your contributions. Give and let God bless you. When you give to those people, those people who in need, God would bless you. Um, PT County Police Department hiring young men and women for police cadet. Welcome Center has all the information. And then coming up on the 21st of July, church save the date. And you have to indicate that you'll be coming so because we're catering. We don't want them not to cater for you. July the 21st, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Look her right there. That's her right there. Sporting off her, um, her wisdom. That's wisdom above, right above there. 60 years. I was just reflecting. Am, am I 60? Where all the years went? 60 years already. 60 years and counting. I really thank God for my life and what he has been doing. I will be celebrating it my style. You know, some of you got a traditional style and some, but I have my style. So we're going to come and celebrate it. At this time, we want to have our board days. We had board days. Normally, bring my two godchildren right up here quickly. And while she's bringing them and all those who had a board, they could come to the front. I want to um, recognize Rebecca is here. Rebecca, please stand. Mommy and Rebecca, please stand. Here is Rebecca. Last week when I was talking about her coming, she was there. And then by the time I reached here, she came out. And then I didn't get a chance to tell you, but she's here today. And um, Linaya, she, Linaya is here today? Oh, she's home today. Okay. Could, could you bring our, our, our boys, our twins? He, they had a birthday too. And God bless you. Oh, Michael, you had a birthday? Today is your birthday? Wow. And we had our oh, elder Keith and the young men go right ahead. Uh, good morning, church. Um, today I celebrate my 23rd birthday. Uh, uh, I'm thankful to see 23 years. Uh, so I'm here to celebrate my family and friends. So thank you. <laughs> Dear mom, you say he's leaving, he's going back to mil to base. He's in the military, he's going back to base. When you leaving, Michael? When you when you leaving? Uh, Friday. Okay. <laughs> That's one proud mommy behind you. Y'all leave her alone. I said Friday. What you mean? <laughs> Y'all give mommy Esther a chance, right? Go go ahead. I'm Friday. Wow. Thank God for a good life and a good education. Good, great. Now, this is Norma's son. Norma, Norma is making sure all these families from St. Kitts are taken care of. So she has a lot of boys and a, and a young lady with her. God bless you, Norma. Uh, I'm the twins' mom. I'm representing them today. They turned three on the 1st of June. Fortunately, they couldn't make it today. They're not too well. But um, I'm just here. They turned three again. They have been an extreme blessing to my life and to the lives of everyone around them. Very pleasant. And thank you guys for your, your support with them. Especially thank Mrs. you. Cameron. Thank you. Those are my godsons. You, know, you all know the twins, right? Good. Yes, so why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> this is not my color. <laughs> Good morning, church. Yesterday I celebrated another year on God's beautiful earth. And um, I just want to give God thanks for life. Without him, I would be nothing. Without, without him, I'll surely fail. But I know I'm here, and God is with me. And I just want to thank all of you who sent celebratory wishes to me. I appreciate it. And uh, my family took care of me yesterday. So I just want to give God thanks for his blessings. Thank you. God bless you. And can you shake their hands? A happy birthday song quickly. Sis. A happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. Every day of the year. May you feel Jesus near. A happy birthday 
to you a happy birthday to you the best that you ever had happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday happy birthday into surgery tomorrow tomorrow okay all right um pray for her and remember we don't have visitors going until after her surgery so we'll keep you updated no visitors until she can get that part straightened out um we're not gonna have prayer vigil this friday we're gonna have it next friday because of all the activities of this week we're gonna have prayer vigil next week friday please take note and um I think that's all for the announcement. Dana is our newest baby coming up. Dana, they know you. Stand at them and see who you are. The parents work so hard in this church. Look her here. That's Dana. And we are planning as a church baby shovels. So you know it from now. I'll tell you a long notice. I'll tell you when baby's going to come and when we're going to have the shovel. Let's stand as we... Oh, but Enrique, you want to do that thing now? Next week. Oh, next week Sunday, let's stand. Next week Sunday, we'll have Father's Day. And guess what? You never know what will happen at the Lighthouse on a Sunday. We'll have a wedding here as well. Good friend of our son getting married in the service. So may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost rest, remain, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow. Don't forget we have light snacks over on the other side for Sunday brunch. And um, God bless you.